And a welcome to our sing along show. Here on stage we've got Merlin making his first appearance on stage today. He's had the whole day off so far. He's spent all day relaxing, doing very little. Uh, now he's out on stage to show you what he can do. He is 18 years old, he's a male California sea lion, born and bred in Longley, but arrived here when he was 18 months old. I've been working with him since the day he arrived, and he's great fun. Uh, we're going to show you just a few of the many things he can do, we'll tell you a little bit about him, and we should hopefully prove to you, we should prove to you how clever these animals are. Our other two, they're uh, both uh, sea lions that take part in the show, they're both California sea lions like Merlin. We've got Marvin, who's 22 years old. Uh, our current alpha male in the group. He's having a well-deserved break now because he's been on stage twice already. Matteo is the youngster in the group. He's only four. Still learning, still in training, but we'll bring him out onto the stage a bit later on to meet you all. Now, Merlin likes to start with a wave. If you guys stick an arm in the air, wave at him. He should wave back. That's what we like to see. Look at that. Give them all a big wave. That's a wave for you. And he needs lots of encouragement. You can encourage him by giving him the odd round of applause. <laughs> These animals are very closely related to dogs, and if you give them any attention, you encourage your behaviour. So giving them a pat on the back saying, well done, good boy, they like that attention. They also like fish. So every time I reward him with fish, he responds positively. Every time you guys are clapping, he does react. That's because when you're clapping, I'm often rewarding him at the same time, and the sea lions quickly make that link. So after a few times out here on the stage, they start to respond when you clap. This is known as positive reinforcement, and it's how we train and everything that you're going to see him do it today. If they make a mistake or do something wrong, we don't ever punish them. That technique, known as negative reinforcement, doesn't work. If I was to punish him for any reason, he wouldn't trust me. And if you want to work closely with the animals like we do here, they've got to trust you, you've got to trust them. And they won't trust anyone that punishes them. So the training's all about rewarding them for doing well. They do need to be kept occupied. A bored sea lion is not a happy sea lion. And it is inevitable in a zoo like this, if you allow them to get bored, behavioural problems will develop. If you leave them to just swim around in the pool all day and throw the fish down again, it's inevitable they're going to get bored. So we are training them from day one. We start off with simple stuff and then we gradually make the tasks more and more difficult for them. This is a simple thing to train a retrieve. If I throw five hoops in the pool, he should bring five hoops back. This proves that A can count and B he knows he's going to get rewarded for doing just that. The first time we threw the hoops in the pool for him, I had to stand here waiting for about six hours while he messed about with them. But eventually he brought one back and when he did he got a pat on the back, a piece of fish, and that's what he's done ever since. simple thing to train and you can train your dog to do that if you take your dog for a walk in the park throw them a ball or a toy the dog will always chase what you throw if you wait for them to bring the item back and you might have to wait seconds minutes hours days weeks but you wait for them to bring it back reward them with a pat on the back and treat say well done good boy good girl you've trained them to retreat easy as that now catching the hoops, this takes a bit more skill. If I throw the hoops to him, he's gonna catch them over his head, like that. And he can do this, he can do this because he's got binocular eyesight. These animals have two eyes facing forward, like us, so they can judge distance and speed. Good catch. Now, if you watch him, for some reason, he always has to look over his shoulder just to check he's caught the hoop. We don't know why, because they've just got over his head, but watch, there's always this little glass. Just has to check every time. He's got three, that's four. If he gets this, a big clap. Five out of But we're now going to make it more difficult. We're going to flip the hoops. When we flip them, he's got to adjust his head at the last second to make that catch. So this is really testing his reactions. And it is much more difficult. He might only get three out of five this time. If he gets three, it's fine. That'll do for us. If he misses a hoop, it doesn't matter. But I'm sure he's going to try his best to catch all five. There's one. Great reactions. Well done. Very fast reactions needed to do this. Good eye and muscle coordination needed to do this. And if he keeps concentrating, he could get a full house. Yes! Now before the sea lions are trained to catch hoops or balance a ball, we train them all to do a few basic things. We train them all to follow a target. A target is simply a stick with a yellow spot on one end. And all we do with this 
It's way too easy to pull on the yellow spot with their nose by rewarding them for touching it. Simple. So you know the drill, you give them a pat on the back, you say, well done, good boy. You feed them a fish whenever they put their nose on that yellow spot. You only have to do that for a while. <laughs> and they start to follow it like this. <laughs> he's not biting the target, he's just, you know, doubt, familiar with Marvin, I'm sure. You might not have seen Matteo before. He is four years old. He's been with us a few years now, but a lot of that time has been spent in lockdown. And during those periods of complete lockdown when the park was closed, we were still here every day feeding the animals, taking care of them, training them, but there was no audience to clap and cheer. And this has affected his progress slightly, because after the periods of lockdown, when the audiences returned, he was overwhelmed by this, all these people clapping. So it's been a bit different bringing this sea lion up here and training him, but he now loves coming out here and seeing you guys. Uh, just like Merlin, he should give you all a wave. And just like Merlin, he loves a bit of clapping too. Yes. <laughs> but he's only got a short attention span at the moment. This may improve with time, it may not. We don't know. People often ask me, how long does it take to train a sea lion? And that question is impossible to answer because each one's different. They all have different skills, they all learn at different speeds. Some are very good at balancing, like Merlin. Some are, quite frankly, rubbish at it. He's been practicing balancing now for three years and he can't do it. Drops the ball every time. But it doesn't matter to us because it's keeping him occupied trying. He's going to do one thing out here and that is the high ball jump. He's aiming for that pink ball hanging above the pool. He's going to try and hit that pink ball with his nose. He's tried this twice already today. He's missed it twice. We've not had a lot of success with this one today. But, third time lucky. I'm hoping he gets a whiskey to it. Even if he misses, you've got to give him a clap just for trying. If he gets a whiskey to it, we're going to give him a big, big cheer. Now, after the show, if you want to, on your way out, if you head out through that gate over there, you can buy one of our giant posters on your way out. With two to choose from. They're £5 each. And all the proceeds go back to the sea lions here. So you can buy a poster and you're contributing to Marvin, Matteo, Merlin, their everyday care, their never ending fish mills. Plus, if you buy a poster and you've got your cameras with you, you can also post for a photo with Marvin if you like. Anyone that buys a poster can stand in front of our big sea lion Marvin, take a few photos with him behind you. And as I said, you're contributing to these guys too. It is £5 per person, you've got to take your own photos. I have to stress that. But if you want a poster on your way out, head out through that gate. But first, a quick stretch of the muscles. He is practicing a front flipper stamp. Not brilliant at it yet. But show everybody how strong your front flippers are. You can do it. Yeah! That stretches the muscles, warms him up for the main event. This is what you're here to do. Let's see if you can, for one time today, hit this big ball. Let's give him a countdown. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Off you go. Little run up, big jump. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you all have a great time here at Flamingo Land. From Matteo, Merlin and me, bye-bye. Thank you all. See you next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>